So today, we just got snow last night. Uh, today we are not going to do anything with trackers or vehicles or anything. Um, I've got some work to do on the old man cave. So it's getting kind of cold in Canada, so uh, I had to kind of revamp things. I used tin on the back to uh, reflect some heat and I put my tools all over by the wood stove. That way I can uh, just keep them warm. You're not grabbing on the cold tools and stuff like that. Uh, first of all, gotta make a fire. Okay, so got the fire going. And she's pumping nice. Um, I threw up a couple benches, uh, just kind of testing a theory. Um, I've got uh, just enough room over here for the uh, tracker. Um, I've got 20 inches to spare. Uh, I'm re-gutting everything. Um, I've just got kind of spotlights up there. And uh, the little man cave is, is getting completely revamped. So I've kind of sectioned off this as a little kind of sitting area slash warm up area. Get it? Everything just really back there that is metal. You'll notice down here these uh, large tools that I rarely ever use. Um, I'm going to hang them up on the, the tin behind the wood stove pipe. Uh, this is an old, old shed. My house is like 115 years old. I have an old century home uh, out in Alberta. and uh, But all this wood is about the same. And it's old fur. And it is hard. Like every screw squeaks in every single one and the entire thing is made out of that uh even the walls and stuff those were just kind of primered white quickly one day um but this is what i do everything in is is this little shop uh i'd say it's uh oh i'd say it's 12 feet wide 13 feet wide somewhere in there and uh probably about 25 to 28 feet long so the idea is to to make a workbench that you know if I if if I want to sit and have a beer I can you know sit here and have that and then on the other side if I choose to you know I've got mostly welding crap down there so you know if I need a buffer wheel versus uh, a grinding wheel I can switch back and forth and then this whole table actually slides out. So if I need like a double work area, it's 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 in the area that I'm working. Uh, this fan is actually going to go up top, blowing hot air down towards the vehicle. Uh, but I have thought about putting it back and putting it on an angle so that it actually blows underneath the vehicle. Um, more for the fact that uh, I. In Canada we go out snow wheeling so if you want to um, melt all the snow you would blow it underneath the vehicle down the center and uh, the warm air would rise and um, two actually uh, wrenches are going to be kind of screwed up on here like right across here so that when I'm working in this area all tools are handy and just kind of going across here type thing. Uh, these things will be moved and, and whatnot. They're just kind of up off the floor. Uh, that's another thing. If you use wood heat, well then anything on the floor is going to be cold. All your warm air is up top. Uh, hence the tin. It, it reflects everything in. Uh, it's just a helper. Um, now I know everybody's going to go crazy about my single wall pipe going up, uh, you know, hundred and some odd year old fur. This 
uh, I would have to say that uh, this, uh, I've used wood heat since I was nine years old. Use it. My kids don't know what it's like to just take a thermostat and slide it over. Um, they split all of it, they burn it, they load their own stoves, they make their own fires in the morning. Um, we have three wood burning stoves. This is what I use. Um, your average, this is a fireplace slash wood burning stove. Um, I use single wall pipe, right? Go up and I've got a tin thing made to hold pipe that goes through with a uh, bigger hole out of the wood roof. Uh, you can't see it because I've just kind of tacked up tin just to reflect heat. It, like I said, it's cold. Uh, little tricks. But uh, goes through there, and this is single wall pipe. Now I replace my pipe every three years, okay? Whether it, whether it needs it or not. Um, and and this actually, really, I'm 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 burning. It looks like it's burning really hot, but like like that's how hot it's burning. Like I can still put my hand on that. Like right. So. This is more just a, a fine heater. Uh, that's mostly coals. Um, actually, it looks pretty white hot on, <laughs> on the video but from my end, anyways. But so, anyways, um, I've got other ideas. Um, in the beginning of this channel, I uh, talked about um, carvings. Uh, you know, just for I don't know, something to do. It's it's something I do on my side time. Um, now, here we go with imagination again. Is uh, that I just kind of quickly put up these uh, two by fours. They were handy, and they reached the distance that I needed them to. You'll see that there's a little bit of overhang. Now, technically, I shave that off and and do that all right. But uh, these are just kind of there for a mock-up uh, there's only actually one screw in each the idea is um, I want to do some custom log work uh, so I'd like to replace these with a log that comes up and make it look nice so that everything kind of wraps around everything else and is screwed in nice and neat um, and get my angles like that so that's where we're at right now um, like I said sorry I I, I didn't uh, videotape everything like we, we did a lot of stuff got a lot of junk out of here uh, we put all these boards right here came from a, a three and a half foot ledge that was screwed to the bottom of these rafters but anyways i will keep you guys updated we are going to uh yeah we're gonna do that we're gonna put some log posts up replacing these and uh making them fit and then the plan is to get rid of uh, these three two by fours going across and arching the roof so that it's higher. Alrighty, well, yeah, if you guys are getting something out of this, the subs are really nice, uh, especially now with the new changes to YouTube. We are getting kicked off monetization, but that's okay. We, you know, this 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 was started for me and Johnny just to make a channel, so that's that's what it boils down to. But. Uh, Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.